He is a pirate that is almost treated as a king who live in an island called Monteverde, who is kind of a country uh, filled with uh, different type of people, mainly pirates from different latitudes. It's like proposing a game. And if the other person says, oh yeah, I know what that game is, I want to play with you. And then it happens, you know. There is no reaction, there is no fear, there is no second thoughts and there is no agendas. There is just, uh, the, the, it's, everything is for the sake of the story and everything is for the sake of having fun as actors. And I saw that in Robert from minute one and I think he detected something like that from me. <laughs> so we started just having fun with those characters, you know, and um, we could have been just playing with them for longer than that. I know that too, you know, because there was material there just to start just pulling things and um, it was great. Uh, actually, those days with uh, Robert have been uh, great because I feel I've really, from the bottom of my heart, a great admiration for his work. I, you know, I'm, I'm a follower of what he has done and, um, and I got a big deal of respect. There is something about his acting always that includes irony. And irony is equal to intelligence. Harry brings to the character what he is as a human being, clearly, and uh, he got a very noble heart. He's just a very clean human being, very white and, uh, and uh, friendly. In Spain we say cariñoso, loving would be the translation, and uh, uh, a great compañero a great partner to be on the set with him. He, you know, I, I, I go away with a fantastic impression of this young actor who I think is gonna make a splash because what I have seen of him, you know, he's very free to communicate, he's very, in, in his simplicity, you know, beautiful and complex, uh, you know, thoughts. It's a phenomenal fantasy because as I said before, no, no, not only just kids, but anybody would love to know what is in the mind of those animals that, especially that we love, you know, our cats, our dogs, horses, domestic animals, but beyond the domestic animals, you know, the wild animals, what they think. So the possibility of just having that contact, uh, it's phenomenal, it's different, uh, and it's very magic.